should allow people to get to know who Rhino is. Rhino needs to be able to share their values with people, not their product, because we're not selling anything. We're actually, and it's funny because I was talking to someone the other day that goes, Anthony, I've never seen a company that has such a value proposition and your whole pitch, right, is I want to give it to you for free. He goes, not only do I believe that you have the best thing I've ever seen, but you're, you don't have any hurdles. You're asking people to give it to them for free. And it's all because you've been able to capture the growth of it by allowing investors to invest alongside what they believe the coin's going to be worth at a future date. Anthony, you are crowdsourcing the biggest and grandest renaissance in small business and local community ever seen across the globe. You are actually bringing people in that are able to see the vision, invest in it down the road, take that money and invest, invest in it today and allow them to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. In fact, you are bringing people in that once they're in, they're going to see it to the end and you're creating a coin that has a value with the, with the strongest shareholder base ever. He goes, Anthony, Dogecoin has never seen anything like you. Google has never seen anything like you. What you're actually doing is the biggest thing that's ever been done. And I know that, right? So the reason you see me so out of breath right now is because the last two days, I've been on my, uh, you know, like thinking medications. It's just, it's been nonstop. So it's actually, I think I need to like go home after right but i will always be here and we already you know we did a lot of stuff so what i want to do today is to show you the updates right i think next week i'll walk you through um what the travel arrangements look like going forward because starting in april we will be traveling every well every other weekend i think in june we'll be doing every weekend but given real presentations, and obviously they're gonna be better than this, right? Like I'm gonna be able to breathe on those presentations. Um, but giving real presentations, meeting real communities, bringing on real mayors, real chambers of commerce. Uh, our commercial is being videoed right now. Um, the last information I got was it'll be done by the end of next week. If it goes longer than that, that's okay. I don't mind it taking an additional week. It just needs to be done before April and a week before then, because I'd like to be able to show it to everyone. That commercial is going to be amazing. In fact, I remember watching the Super Bowl and those commercials, I was sitting with V, Rhino host, and Tanch, right? Like Rhino wife, I guess. <laughs> and uh, just going over what our commercial is and, and how different it is from everything you're going to see. And I can't wait to show that. I can't wait to show a lot of stuff, but those are things that are, I'll tell you this, right? I'll tell you one more thing before I show you what I'm about to show you. By the end of this year, we're gonna do one of two things. We're either going to have a corporate partnership with PayPal where we're going to be one of the coins on their platform and they're going to facilitate the whole um, payment system that we've been talking about. In which case, if that happens, the, the coin's worth like a bazillion dollars, right? Like, I don't even want to get into that. Or we're going to make our own. We're going to code our own financial tech system. Um, so we can't express it. Like, the ideas are big. Right now, we own a search engine. Congratulations, Reno. You own a search engine. We are going to have a commercial that's going to be globally and nationally aired Within two weeks, you're gonna have a Rhino commercial, like a real one, that's that's being uh, professionally recorded. Um, we're gonna have real events in towns. We're gonna to have real mayors, real chambers of commerce. There's a lot of real things that are happening, but let me go ahead and show you our real website. First, I wanna go ahead and um, share with you some inspiration. So one of the most inspiring figures in my life is Steve Jobs, the former uh, CEO of Apple. And he since passed, I think it was pancreatic cancer. But in terms of being a visionary, I, I believe one of the most amazing visionaries ever in the history. In fact, I've read his book plenty of times. And there's a lot of things that he has shared that most people don't know. There's a lot of interviews by Steve Jobs that I have absorbed into this company. So I want to go ahead and show you a seven-minute video of Steve Jobs. 
And then I want to go show you how we've applied it. And I think you're going to be quite impressed. So let me go ahead and do a share screen. And I want to show everybody this. And then we'll show you our website. This is a very complicated world. It's a very noisy world. And we're not going to get a chance to get people to remember much about us. No companies. And so we have to be really clear on what we want them to know about us. Now, Apple, fortunately, is one of the half a dozen best brands in the whole world, right up there with Nike, Disney, Coke, Sony. It is one of the greats of the greats, not just in this country, but all around the globe. And but, but even a great brand needs investment in caring if it's going to retain its relevance and vitality. And the Apple brand has clearly suffered from neglect in this area in the last few years. And we need to bring it back. The way to do that is not to talk about speed and food. It's not to talk about most and negative. It's not to talk about why we're better than women. The very industry tried for 20 years to convince you that milk was good for you. A lie, but they tried anyway. And uh, the sales are going like this. And then you try to drop milk, and the sales are going like this. Drop milk is the entire department, but the focus is on the absence of the problem. <laughs> but, but the best example of all, and, and one of the greatest jobs of, of marketing you know, that the universe has ever seen is Nike. Remember, Nike sells a commodity, they sell shoes. And yet, when you think of Nike, you feel something different than the shoe company. And their ads, as you know, they don't ever talk about the product, they don't ever tell you about their air stores and why they're better than new box air stores. What's Nike doing in that? They, they honor great athletes and they honor great athletes. That's who they are. That's what they are about. Apple spends a fortune on all the time. You'd never know it. You'd never know. So when I got here, you know, Apple just fired their agency. It was in a competition with 23 agencies that, you know, four years from now would pick one. And we blew that up and we, we hired Shy Bits, the ad agency that I was fortunate enough to work with years ago. We created some award winning work, including the, the commercial budget that that ad was made in 1984 by advertising professionals. And um, we started working about eight weeks ago. And what we, the question we asked was our customers want to know who is Apple and what is it that we stand for? Where do we sit in this world? And What we're about isn't making boxes for people to get their jobs, although we do that well. We do that better than almost anybody in some cases. But Apple's about something more than that. Apple, at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for them. That's what we believe. And we have the opportunity to work with people like that. We've had an opportunity to work with people like you, with software developers, with customers who have done it in some big and some small ways. And we believe that in this world, people can change it for the better. And that those people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that actually do. And so what we're going to do in our first brand marketing campaign in several years is to, is to get back to that core value. A lot of things have changed. The market's a totally different place than it was a decade ago. And Apple's totally different. Apple's place is totally different. And believe me, the products and the distribution strategy and manufacturing are totally different. We understand that. The values and core values, those things shouldn't change. The things that Apple believes in at its core are the same.
same thing that I believe to include. And so we wanted to find a way to communicate that. And what we have is something that I am um, I'm very moved by. It honors those people who have changed the world. Some of them are living, some of them are not. But the ones that aren't, as you'll see, you know that if they ever need to be treated, it would have been. To see this campaign to think differently. It's the people honoring the people who think different and who move this world forward. And it's, it is what we are about. It touches the soul of this country. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it. Uh, and I hope that you feel the same way about it. News to the crazy ones. The misfits, rebels, cowards, round heads in square holes, ones who see things They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify them, or vilify them. Everything you can do. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, they can be genius. Because the people who are crazy who think they can change the world are the ones who do. Now, I absolutely love that end. Hey, it's Trey Cockrum. Hey. I've got one simple question for you, and that's, what is your offer? What exactly are you selling? You see, after three years of helping coaches and consultants, working with over... Nobody wants to talk to you. All right. To me, that's one of, one of the best ads ever, right? And I believe wholeheartedly everything that was shared with that. Our products, our... our, our our things are going to change through the years. But core values should never change. Values should never change. When people ask who's Rhino, I sometimes have a difficult time sharing with what Rhino is. Well, Rhino is a consultant and it, it has platforms and it has live content and it has a search engine. And no, you know what Rhino is? Rhino is a belief that people with passion can be a superhero that you can be a superhero to anybody, that you have the ability to change things. Rhino believes that people with passion are heroic. And everything we do is based on that DNA. Everything that we do is completely champions those that have passion. Because we believe if you have the passion to stand up and speak, if you have the passion to do what is right, that you're not alone that you can change the world, that you will be remembered, that you are a superhero to someone. We believe everyone is a superhero. Rhino believes everyone is a superhero. That's who Rhino is. So what I would like to do is show you our, our take on that. So here is our site, right? So you have rhinostreet.com. Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not sharing anymore. Hold on a sec. Why don't I do this? Okay, let me do that again. Okay, so here is the website, rhinostreet.com. This is our search engine. And as you can see, you it's functional, right? I wanna learn guitars. I could go look up easy, basic guitars. This is from Sweden. Michael Cullen, this is his company. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be looking, be able to look up his company going forward after this week because it'll be only 20 miles and Sweden is much further than 20 miles from here. 
Um, let's say I want to look up tomato. Well, there is no tomato, but that sounds like it could be a great result. What do you have in mind? Do you want to be that business, right? You could go ahead and fill out this form. It comes to us. And this is going to be populated onto the search engine as a search result. So if you are in a local community that does not have a tomato, right? Like a pizza place or something, and you wanna be that pizza place because you see that they do not have a pizza place, you can be, and this is how you would do it. So let's go back. Now, this is our first uh, reveal of our website. So down here at the bottom left, you'll see Rhino. This will be in all capital letters. I have X only three or four times, but I will make sure it's done because I'm getting tired of asking. Hey, look who that is. Frida, Brian, William. Now we were, we did ask, I believe V uh, made a very good effort in asking people to submit pictures that we wanted to put you on the site because we had a vision of what we wanted the site to look like. Rhino Street is where passion creates heroes. That is what we believe. We believe passion creates heroes. Core values should never change. We are our community. Look at these. These are beautiful, beautiful people. This is just beautiful people going about their beautiful lives. Everyone knows someone like that. Everyone knows the person in your town that, that reminds you of one of these pictures. We are, we are our community. Love simply. Giving is beauty forever engraved in a single moment. Marilyn Monroe. What made Marilyn Monroe so beautiful wasn't the fact that she was a, uh, you know, a thong bikini model somewhere. She had such confidence in herself. She did not have body dysmorphia. She, she believed that beauty was in the smile, that beauty was in the way you interact with people, that beauty was that moment you that, that sensation you left people when you left the room. Beauty was when you walked into a room, how people looked at you. She believed confidence was beauty. She believed she was beautiful. She believed everyone was beautiful. We wanna love simply. We believe giving is beauty forever engraved in a single moment. We believe that if you go ahead and you give to those that you perform charity, you are beautiful. That moment is beautiful. Let's click Rhino Charity. No one has ever become poor by giving. 100% of revenues from each item sold will be donated to this month's charity. It's amazing. Anne Frank. You know, we all know the story of Anne Frank, but sometimes we forget how beautiful she was. She was just a child. She was a beautiful looking child, right? Everyone could be Anne Frank. Think differently. Leading is creating a better tomorrow, delivering it today. Everyone knows Albert Einstein. Look at him. He's just, he looks like a normal, like someone's grandfather. He looks like he's just out of college and just being a professor. He looks like he didn't even know this picture was happening. He looks like a regular grandfather. In fact, we all know someone that probably looks like this. But what made Albert Einstein different than everyone else? He had the passion to do what he believed. He did not, it did not matter what other people said. It did not matter how much time he spent, it did not matter how much he sacrificed. It did not matter that he figured this out. And you know, he didn't say, oh, I figured out E equals MC squared, I'm done. He had the passion to keep going, to keep going. And he is a hero to everyone that came after him. And that's what we think of when we think of Rhino Coin. We think that we are thinking differently. We think that we can create a better tomorrow. And we do think we're delivering it today. If your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. Everyone knows who Muhammad Ali is. But look at him, he was a kid. I don't even know where this is. Maybe this is him just at a gym somewhere. Maybe this is when he was starting. Look at that smile, look how beautiful he is. You know, we remember Muhammad Ali as this bigger than life figure, but what do you think his mother remembered him as? What do you think his friends knew him as? What do you think his neighbor knew him as? They know him exactly as they know you. You are your neighbors. We are our neighbors. Passion created this hero. Passion was what made him so great. Understanding and identifying, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it 
better than anyone else. I'm going to stand on principle and I'm going to stand on morals. I'm going to stand on ethics and I'm going to do something that no one even heard of. He was put in jail because he did not agree with the Vietnam War. And instead of him just saying, oh yeah, Vietnam War, that's cool guys, like every media outlet and every celebrity does today with COVID and all the rest, he stood up for it. He got jailed because of it. What hero do you have today that would do that? Babe Ruth, Rhino Coin. This is what we believe we're going to be able to do. We believe we're going to be able to be so great that we're going to hit it so far that everyone's going to remember. You want to get it? You want to gift it? You want the balance sheets? You want the ledger? Everything transparent right there. Dream loudly. Courage is speaking on behalf of everyone, regardless. I got to tell you, in this journey of Rhino, I've spoken on behalf of those that didn't even know that I was speaking on behalf of them. In fact, I've spoken on behalf of people that did not even believe that they were, a, that they were part of a population that needed to be spoken for. In fact, I've spoken on behalf of people that found it offensively that they thought that I thought that they needed to be spoken for. And it did not matter because I know where my morals are, I know where my ethics are, I know where my vision is. And I will speak for everyone regardless. And Martin Luther King, I don't know if there's more of a sentence that explains Rhino than dream loudly. Because anybody that knows me knows I'm present, I'm here, I'm loud. We have Rhino Host V who's there every day. Rhino is everywhere, it is always accessible. How many people have emailed me and gotten responses. In fact, Ron, who's one of our most favorite people, understands that we're so accessible that he'll message me and say, this does not need your response now. I know you're working and write a response. And you know what I do? I always respond. And I think he hits himself in the head like, oh, Anthony, like I told you to not do it. He, he messaged me the other day. He goes, why aren't you working? I go, because you're talking to me. But I will always be right there. I will always dream loudly. And if someone is taken back by how loud Rhino is, we're doing it for you, not against you. And if you take a look at this crowd, you have those that, that you believe would be very congruent with the crowd, like African-Americans, he's speaking on behalf of them for civil rights. But there's some white people somewhere, I think, I don't know. And you see this officer, I don't know the times of the photo, but he looks like, you know what, I'm, I'm standing there. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, he doesn't look like he vicious wants to get him and we know how his story ended and a lot of people were really bad but this doesn't look like that person this guy looks like he's speaking and dreaming loudly i gotta tell you i don't see anything about him that doesn't remind me of someone i may know there is nothing about his figure that defines him as a unique individual it's his passion that defines it he doesn't look like brad pitt he doesn't have uh, a chest like someone he doesn't have plastic surgery he doesn't He's not wearing a muscle t-shirt. He, he's, he's just a man that had the passion and had the dream and said, I'm going to do it loudly because I know what's right and I'm going to do it. And if somebody wants to end it, that's your problem, not mine. Because I'm going to go down with a dream that everyone's going to understand and everyone will always remember. That's Rhino. We're going to dream loudly. We have the courage to speak on behalf of everyone, regardless. Rhino superhero, be the change you wish to see in the world. Look at Gandhi. I got to tell you, so of all the pictures that I sourced, right, this was the one that caught my attention the most. It's just like, everyone knows this guy. Everyone knows someone that looks like him. That, he's like that cute grandfather. He's like, you know, you... I bet you if you go to enough convenience stores because it's predominantly, uh, you know, Indian um, culture, everyone has seen like someone that reminds them of that. There's nothing defining about this picture other than who the man was, not what he looked like, who he was. What did he espouse? Did he go against everyone and say the things that he wanted to say? Did he take how much flack for sharing the message he wanted to share? What was the life that he lived? He, every picture I found of him, he's, he's wearing very modest clothing, living a very modest life. I know his story. And I gotta tell you, 
was he a superhero while living or did he become a superhero after, right? Because the point is you can be a superhero without knowing you're a superhero. You can be a superhero without knowing you're a superhero. It's the passion that creates the heroes. Can you stand up and speak up for others regardless? Do you have the courage? Can you go ahead and be the change you wish, right? What Rhino Superhero is, is it's an outreach to anyone that finds our message and believes in it. And they want to go ahead and be the representative, the Rhino Superhero of their community, of their 20 miles. And it's going to allow them to actually um, submit this form to us. Now, now, I don't want you to go ahead and submit it yet because we just created it and there are some changes I wanna to make to it. And I wanna be able to automate the back process, all right? So it comes to us, I wanna have an email automated out to you. I wanna have a whole bunch of next steps. I wanna have um, um, accountability type, like there's stuff I need to do, right? This isn't a game. I don't want everyone to think, oh, I wanna be the rhino rep of my community. Oh, the next day, new shiny object, right? We are going to make sure that we put ourselves in other shoes. All right, I'm putting myself in the shoes of somebody that's seeing this and saying, you know what, this Anthony guy, he couldn't breathe two seconds ago, but look at him come alive when he talks. I want to go ahead and be a part of that company. I want to be the rhino rep of my community. All right, bop, bop, bop. The next day goes by nothing. The next day goes by nothing. Now that person, we've done more harm than good. That person has seen the, the, the passion, but they see no follow-up. And how many times do you know someone that has passion and no follow? Oh, you know what? If that was me, I would do this. And then a month goes by and they did nothing. And you look at them like a clown. More than that, you look at them lower than what you thought of them because you're saying, yeah, you had this great idea and you did nothing. You are useless. You are actually hurting everything that you said. That's not us. So there's going to be quite a comprehensive follow-up to this because I want to empower that everyone that wants to be the Rhino superhero can be. become a Rhino Street search result. And everybody knows this, right? So uh, this is taking you to the same exact form that's on the search engine when you type in say pizza place and a pizza place doesn't come up. If you want to go ahead and be that pizza place, you can. Um, so I need to change this. This was supposed to change. Uh, that's okay. Abigail had done such an amazing job in fact, I was talking to her earlier today. So she's driving to Minnesota. She's driving 22 hours. She rested overnight in Michigan because she has some family there. She's been pulling off the road at rest stops to make changes in real time so that I would be able to present this to you today. Why is my nose always itchy when I'm on this? <laughs> well, ain't you're out of breath, then it's not that, right? But um, so she's been amazing. So this is going to constantly improve, right? And then you have down here your search, the charity, become a partner, join our live and contact us. Somebody messaged me, hey, aunt, always love the content. Wait, was that, um, I forgot who that was. Oh, Michael O'Neill. Oh my God, I gotta get back to Michael O'Neill. Um, aunt, Abigail's awesome, I know. Um, contact us, hey, aunt, uh, I've always loved the contact us button because you, know, you always got back to us right away. Um, so I want to make sure that was there as well. So when we take a step back, oh, by the way, Frida, Brian, and William, William or Bill, it's the same name, I guess, but so sorry. Um, you're all receiving 2,500 Rhino coin. Um, I'm going to do that. I guess I could do that right after this live. This will be on our site forever. Actually, forever is a long time, but I want to say forever because I don't have a reason. There's never going to be a reason not to unless we make something new, right? But um, this will be you forever. And this is the site. And what I want to share with people is our values, not our product, because we're not selling a product. Who is Rhino? Rhino believes that it, Rhino Street is where passion creates heroes. Where do you live? Rhino Street. Oh, you're a hero. You're a passionate person. Rhino Street is where passion creates heroes. And that's what we truly believe. And that is what I believe. And that's what Rhino believes. So with Rhino, 
we have a search and this is going to be completely localized. We're going to go town to town to town and every town is going to understand Rhino. They're going to understand the value proposition of Rhino. They're going to be in Rhino. They're going to be able to to have a thriving main street because they're going to reinvest in themselves because they're going to prioritize purchasing from each other first. Not only after this week are we going to have the upgrade that allows the only 20 miles, but the following upgrade after that is Rhino is making our own browser. You know how like when you download Chrome, you have a Chrome browser? We're going to have a Rhino browser, which means anytime you search for anything, it's gonna to go to Rhino first. And we're going to code within the browser, um, were you looking for Google instead or something, right? Like we don't want to, we want to, it's always about the experience. We want to make sure that we're not taking you from a good experience, right? So say for instance, you're looking up how many quarts are in a pound. I don't know if that's the right metric. Um, send the voicemail. Sorry about that. Oh, you couldn't see me anyway. I was getting a phone call. That's so funny. You were on screen record. Um, if you were asking a question, like how many Super Bowls did Tom Brady win? You're probably not going to find that answer on Rhino Street, but you're probably going to find it on Google. Our browser, we do not want to go ahead and make it uncomfortable for someone that they're using the Rhino browser because they believe in the Rhino vision. They're a participant in what we're doing and they do it and they're like, oh, darn. Uh, I really like this, but it, it's just not working for me. So we'll figure that out, right? Like we're always going to figure things out. But what I will tell you is that things are going really well. Let me go ahead and get the screen share off, right? What I can tell you is things are going really, really well. And um, so also this month, what you'll see with, uh, with V, Rhino Host, is that we've went ahead and identified the um, Small Business Administration of the United States of America's core curriculum. And again, they offer it for free, right? But we want to accomplish two things. One, we want to go ahead and share that with everyone so everyone understands what it takes to open a business, right, as per the Small Business Administration, which obviously they're pretty good at this stuff, right? Like they, they're going to give you the, the college education of how to open a business. Not only do we want to be able to offer that to you, but we want to be able to improve and upgrade who we are. So this month is a complete reinvestment to Rhino Host because by the end of this month, B is going to be the SBA expert. So two things are going to happen starting in April with that. Not only will, well, one, anyone that comes to Rhino meetings is going to be able to ask a SBA expert a small business question and get a real-time response, right? Which is super valuable. In fact, even if people aren't part of Rhino, they're going to say, well, but I have this tax question or this LLC versus, I don't know, oh, Rhino, let me just go and ask them. Secondly, because it's going to be repetitive, right, it's the same exact curriculum for four weeks, which accomplishes two things. One, it reinvests into Rhino host so that V absolutely learns it really, really well and has the opportunity to learn it really, really well. But secondly, that's going to be four different lives for the same exact, um, the same exact uh, category, right? So what's, what's the first one? Uh, planning and preparing. V will be presenting planning and preparing four separate occasions, meaning of those four separate occasions, we're gonna have enough content to edit out and make one really super duper planning and preparing video. We'll be able to do that for all five categories. Upon completion of that editing from our perspective, we're going to have Rhino SBA modules, meaning every time anyone comes to Rhino and they go ahead and they want to opt into who Rhino is, or they want to go ahead and build a business, or, or they don't understand how things work, we have a five-set module unique to Rhino, high value to SBA, completely understandable presented live to individuals that we can then sh um, share with them and send for free. You gotta remember, Rhino's market is population. Rhino's market is area code, which means we have to be able to speak to everyone. It's not like we're a business platform that is only bringing in businesses, because if that were the case, everyone would already know how to do a business. 
we don't want to go ahead and disqualify or discriminate anyone. In fact, the people that we're looking to help are those that might not have had the opportunity to have that level of education. So when we're speaking to simply a zip code, we're speaking to all walks of life with the majority of them that are going to be receptive to us are gonna be the ones that have had a difficult time. So we must know that the people we speak to are going to need education. And if we can go ahead and speak to a normal person who is a little bit deficit in education and educate them to go from somebody that's, a, that's aspiring to one day be something to someone that owns a small business that is now a pillar of his community because he's listed on a small business search engine that the whole community is looking at, that is a change in someone's life that makes us their hero. That is a change in community that goes ahead and allows that community to believe rhinos they're here. That's a change in a community that allows the community to be the hero to their children when they bring them up to go ahead and learn the small business rather than saying, hey, dad can't be home tonight because I have to work a quick check for all night for the overnight shift, right? The point is the passion that you see in front of you in real time is being directed into a bit of an assembly line. There's a lot that I still need to do this month. A lot of messaging, a lot of how do we create an assembly line of the passion, the programs, the platforms, the webinar, the team, the, the plans, the vision, the a lot is happening. But I can promise you it is happening. So I'm going to, let me go look at the questions, right? Dream loudly, right, Deborah? My, my wife this morning is like, Anthony, Dream loudly is amazing. I'm like, I think I'm going to get that tattoo. Like, dream loudly. I, I'm giving everyone permission right now. That is unique to Rhino. We made it up. Like, we didn't make up the words, but it's not trademarked anywhere. And if you trademark it, I think you're a dirtbag, right? But short of taking it and stealing it from us, we want you to go ahead and use it. Put it everywhere. Like, I bet if you made that your marketing, it would be better, right? So we are sharing that with you. Um... Honorary rhinos, I love that. Abigail's awesome. Uh, Frida, thank you, seriously. By the way, Frida and I talk like, uh, not regularly, but maybe once every other week. And the difference in time zones means it's 4 a.m. by me. So she'll message me and I'll just get back to it. And I'm like, oh, sorry, just waking up. And then I'll delete that because I'm like, well, it sounds weird telling someone you just woke up because you should already be up. Um, but that's the challenges and that's the stands that I push on myself. You know what? I should be up at four in the morning. I should be up at five in the morning. We should be. There's always stuff to do. There's so much to do. So that's the story, right? Gunny, I have someone that wants her business to join. What link do I use for them so I can get credit for joining work? Um, the business. So I'm trying to think. We have the... Oh. Actually, don't we have that? Oh, let me see something. So I think we, oh, so become a, a Rhino search result. So Gunny, this is for you to become a Rhino search result. Um, so we, I gotta tell you with this affiliate system, I'm gonna throw it out a window. I really think I'm gonna just blow it up and redo it. It's caused a lot of problems for everyone and a, because it's, it just hasn't been done properly. So I'm actually taking over the affiliate system and I'm going to have it done properly by the end of this week. As of right now, the affiliate system rewards, um, rewards new affiliate signups. So for instance, you go ahead and share your affiliate link with someone, that lander page that they come to is the affiliate signup page. Um, so that's where you get the credit for. Now, that being said, that's how everyone signs up for Rhino. So to Gunny, by sharing your affiliate link with anyone, they then are opting in to signing up for Rhino. So you will get the credit immediately, right? But for them to then go ahead and uh, do the business, they have to go ahead and then click become a search result, or you could share that link with them. So what I'll say to you is, Gunny, if you can go ahead and share that link with your friend, also email me and let me know when you do it. I will, um, I will watch and I'll manually reward anything that's due to you. So we, I have no problem making this a bit of a customized for you because it's, it's an obvious answer. Yes, we want you to, we want to empower you to do everything in your power 
to grow Rhino. Uh, so we'll reward you accordingly. So just let me know and I'll take care of it for you. Um, can you give us a press release so we can get the word out of local communities? So actually, Deborah, yeah. So as I was saying before, in terms of becoming a Rhino superhero, that is my next step. So I need to go ahead and put together a press packet. That might not be done till the end of next week because I want to really, really make a super duper duper one. I think I'm actually even going to go ahead and code it so that we're sharing Google Docs, which means you can go ahead and be Rhino superhero of your community. And in the Google Doc that we're going to have with you, there'll be certain metrics. Um, you know, how many emails did you send out? Who did you speak to? Um, whatever, whatever. I don't know how to do it. We're going to, we'll figure out what's important so that we can constantly make sure that we're supporting you. So you can stay constantly engaged knowing that there is somebody in the company that is working one-on-one -on -one with you. Because here's the thing, once we, so it's funny. So all the stuff that we're sharing now sounds overwhelming. And this is a lot of work and, 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 and that's fine. A lot of work, love it, right? And obviously I'm like having a panic attack as I'm speaking. <sighs> I feel better now, I feel like, Okay, anyway, it's a lot of work, but when that work is done correctly, it's then scalable. And not only is it scalable, so for instance, we're actually pursuing a Facebook model. What do I mean by that? Facebook, when it first came out, for those that are old enough to remember, was just a college website. You were not allowed to sign up for Facebook unless you had a .edu email address. Then you could get on Facebook, meaning, Facebook was wildly localized. Harvard was the only one that had Facebook. No one else outside of Harvard could have Facebook because they did not have a harvard.edu email address. The only reason other people got Facebook was because A, they wanted it, and B, they qualified for it. The point being, the goal of Facebook in terms of marketing was to go ahead and do such a good job locally that it would overflow to surrounding towns. So what they did with Facebook with Harvard, and they would you know, put one in Stanford and one over here, one over there, was that it was going to become so popular on those campuses that surrounding campuses were going to learn of it and they were going to want it as well, but they couldn't have it. They couldn't have it because they did not go to that particular school, but the students of those two schools interacted with each other. That's how Rhino street is going to grow. So we're going to be in various different towns and upon achieving such a level of success that the town is able to reinvest into their own town and have a thriving small business, have a thriving main street with new small business and increased tax revenue. These companies, these businesses are going to obviously be friends with surrounding towns and other business owners. Those business owners are gonna say, holy Jesus, you, are, 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 are doing so well over there because the community is actually able to support you. I want something like that for my town. How do I bring Rhino Street over here? So the point is, not to compare anything to COVID or a virus, or to compare your business to a virus. So if you take out all of those horrible connotations, that's kind of what we need to do. We need to do such a good job in each particular place that the surrounding places learn of who we are and they want to absorb and bring us in. Because remember, what made Facebook so popular was because they filled a hole. People care what others are doing. That's a fact. Facebook solved that. Facebook allows you to learn what everyone else is doing without having to talk to them. And if you do want to talk to them, you have a way to talk to them. Facebook solved what is everyone else doing. You know what Rhino Street solves? How to go ahead and um, how to regrow, how to rehab small business. That, sound, that doesn't sound very in, uh, persuasive, right? Rhino Street solves, solves home, really. You know, Rhino Street solves small business. Actually, I think that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a better sentence. But Rhino Street solves small business because every small business has to compete with the much larger businesses that infuse themselves and interfere in the whole, in, in other people's homes. Like for instance, if when I go home, I'm gonna say, 
Oh, you know what? I want to go ahead and buy a new pair of shoes today. Bop, bop, bop. Google.com shoes. And they're going to send me to Amazon.com and Target.com and this, this, this. Well, you know who they're not going to send me to? The really nice, the really nice older man who's been building shoes uh, for generations. His whole family's been doing it. And he works with his kids and they make the finest shoes and that's what they're known for. Um, you know why? I'm never going to know that because that person is no longer in business. And that person would never even think about owning a business because when I'm home, they, my, my search results are being stolen by big companies. And it's not being stolen, right? So Anthony, you're being a little, you know, you're being a little extra. No, they're not stolen because there's no choice. You could make an argument that search engines are monopolized. There's no choice. So yeah, they're not stolen, but I don't have a choice. Therefore, I'm held hostage. My search results are hostage. So what if there was a choice? You know what? I don't really feel, I don't feel like buying Nike. I want to see who, you know, I want to see who in my own town is, is doing shoes, right? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, Fred has a shoe company. There's a site. They look pretty cool. You know, I haven't seen Fred since college. All right, let me go check out what he's doing over there. If nothing else, I'll buy something. I want to support Fred. That's a sentence that this world does not have, that everyone wants to say, that we are going to go ahead and make cool again. That's it. All right. So, guys, thank you. I'm sorry that this started a little slow in the beginning. Uh, I was actually not able to breathe. And uh, so let that be a little bit of, um, a little bit of confidence. That we're that we're nonstop, right? And uh, have fun with V tomorrow. And I'll see you next week. And I'll have even more updates for you. Uh, this month is a little slow in terms of our community engagement because we're reinvesting in Rhino Host. So if you want to learn SBA stuff, please go attend and please go ahead and stop by because nobody likes seeing an attendance level that's low. It, it makes it makes people feel like, all right, what am I really doing? But um, this month, there's no, there's no super duper calls to action um, that allow the attendance level to naturally be high unless people want to actually learn the content. So please go. And next month, it's actually gonna be really cool on Rhino meetings. So as we go ahead and go from town to town, we're going to completely customize Rhino meetings to that town. So all the 10 steps that one would do to open a business like research and um, check out locations and do um, um, LLC versus this, get registrations, permits, blah, 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 blah. We're actually going to conduct those for the town we're going to. We are going to win towns. All I can say to you right now is you're watching in real time what's going to be the biggest renaissance ever in small business and local community. And I guarantee you that. We're going to do that. Um, and I know that. So you're watching it. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, absolutely love all of you. I will see you next week. And uh, seriously, you are, you are Rhino. You are what makes it go. Um, so you just need to know that. Um, every one of you is, without you, this doesn't happen. So thank you. Let's go do it. I love you, everyone. Bye.